what's up guys, it's Headsets Modern Warfare Gamer Tab Fans for Chicken here. Welcome to JTA Tutorials Episode 3. In uh, this tutorial, looking at how to install Dash Launch. Um, now, Dash Launch, it's a continuation on from Episode 2 where we were looking at installing Freestyle Dash. With Dash Launch, this program will enable us to um, boot Freestyle Dash up when we turn the console on rather than booting into the normal dashboard you'll turn your console on and it'll boot you into Freestyle Dash. Uh, it saves a lot of time navigating through XX menu to start Freestyle Dash. And uh, it's also useful because for installing uh, the ping patch and uh, enabling FTP, which we'll be covering uh, in later tutorials. And Dash Launch is just something that runs in the background and it just it binds everything together. It's just it's a really useful program and uh, we'll show you it today. So f what you want to do to download it to begin with is um, going to free, uh, Real Mod Scene. I'll put the link in the description, so just click it. If you scroll down to the bottom, you will see the attached files. Click Dash Launch, you download that, and um, it will be in a zip file. So I'm going to just create a new folder and call it uh, dash launch uh, version 3.07 which is the latest one and I'm going to just drag and drop all of these in there so I've got dash launch in here and now I'm going to put this onto a USB stick that is not configured to the Xbox just like the what we did with freestyle dash and once it's on our USB stick we will now plug the USB stick into the console and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay guys, so once you're on the console what you want to do is just go over to My Games, start up XCX menu, plug in your USB stick obviously. And um, you want to press X and make sure you're on USB so you've got your USB stick up and um, press Y on dash launch, press A to copy, press X again, go, go to HDD1, press Y in the root of HDD1 and paste. And there's your dash launch there, so we'll, op we'll press A to go into dash launch, press A on installer, and here's the default XCX, press A to start that, and we'll start up dash launch. So it says dash launch version does not match, currently running version 3.05. Now the reason it's saying this is because I'm not on the latest dash kernel version. I'm not on the latest dashboard update because uh, this newest version of dash launch is designed for um, 2.1, what is it, 6, 603 I think this one's designed for and I'm still on 602, so, um, or 202 I think can't remember. Anyway, um, if you get this message just click update and we have it on here. Uh, so what you want to do is press right bumper over here and press A on HDD because this is where you want it to be saved. Uh, actually no, you don't do that first. Uh, what we want to do is we go on over here, press A on paths, default path. Now that's when you boot your console up, it's saying where do you want it to go. Um, and we want it to go into Freestyle Dash when you boot the console up. So we'll press A on default and we'll locate our Freestyle Dash. So it's in HDD for me and it's in FSD, which I created in JTAG Tutorials Episode 2. And you press A on the default.xex because this is where it's going to boot up to. So now when we turn our console on, it's going to look inside this folder and start the default XCX for Freestyle Dash, hence booting the console up into Freestyle Dash. You can also do buttons, so when you press go back to dashboard, if you hold down a certain button, it'll boot into a different uh, program. What I like to do is I like to change X to boot up XCX menu, uh, which I would recommend you do. So XCX menu is located in HDD content, um, the folder with all the zeros, then code 9999, and then this folder, and then XCX menu. Select A for that. So now when we boot up our console, it'll boot into Freestyle Dash. If we boot up our console and hold down X, it'll boot into XCX menu. You can also change other buttons to boot into other homebrew programs or even into certain games. Uh, it's up to you, really, but th these are the two I go for. 
and I would recommend you go for those. Um, also we want to go into our network and enable ping patch. Um, that's important as well for uh, tutorial for like another allow, well basically ping patch allows you to um, play over system link using something like link or XPS link or excellent Kai uh, without a limit of uh, 30 milliseconds on your ping uh, which may sound like gibberish to you if it does it doesn't matter still enable it anyway because it's important um, yeah what else we don't need any of this uh, you can put live block on if you want it's on by default uh, it stops you from accidentally connecting to Xbox Live because if you've got an unbanned KV and you accidentally connect to Xbox Live it's going to be banned and um, you don't want that to happen so yeah I would actually recommend you enable live block it's probably enabled by default anyway all the other ones that are enabled by default just leave them enabled don't muck around with anything um, go down to where are we uh, yeah, um, configurator, and what you want to do is um, enable FTP server because we'll be using that in another uh, tutorial, and I'll show you what that's all about, and that's also a very useful thing to have. So once you have configured it, now you want to select A on your hard drive and press X on it, and it will say uh, it says setting save to HDD launch.ini. Um, and then press A. So you press X on it first to save the launch.ini then press A which makes the hard drive uh, the default place where the uh, launch.ini is always going to be saved. And once you've done that press right bumper again and you'll get this screen up and all you want to do is just click quit and it should defaultly launch us into freestyle dash which is perfect because that's what we want. So I'll just give you an example here. If I go back to dashboard normally, instead of going back to the normal dashboard, it will boot us into Freestyle Dash automatically. So when we turn the console on, it'll also do the same thing. It'll boot us straight into Freestyle Dash. Another thing is, since I've changed X to XCX menu, if I go to back to dashboard now, and I hold down the X button, on my controller it boots us into XCX menu and if I press Y again it goes back into freestyle dash so there you go that's the usefulness of dash launch right there and um, also you'll see that it says system link patched that's because we enabled ping patch which is another useful thing to have uh, so that's what I wanted to show you guys you can turn on your consoles now and it'll boot you into this and um, like I said if you if you binded if you changed the path for another button like you could have changed say A to launch Black Ops 2 multiplayer if you have that installed so when you hold down A it'll go straight into Black Ops 2 multiplayer so you have all those uh, options uh, for booting, booting when you boot up your console and um, yeah so dash launch is a very important thing to have installed so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, I hope you have it installed now and everything's working fine and um, please ch stay tuned to my next video where I'll be showing you how to install games onto your hard drive uh, through uh, either copying, I'll show you how to do it by copying a disk and showing you how to do it from a downloaded one off the internet uh, so stay tuned to that and um, uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and leave a comment if you've got any questions and uh, yeah, hopefully see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.